right, here we are. We are back with the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video. It's Weather for Weather Geeks here, the midweek edition, Wednesday evening. It's the second day of August, and it was a fairly comfortable day today. We, of course, had the wildfire smoke and haze in the sky once again. But, hey, these are what we call the dog days of summer. It's usually thought of as late July, early August. There's usually not much in the way of a breeze at this time of the year, and oftentimes it gets pretty hot, of course, at this time of the year. But, you know, we had 88 a couple of times during the second half of last week, including a week ago today. But the last handful of days, upper 70s to about 80 during the day, and today's high of 79 was three below the average, which is still 82 degrees. All right, the uh, latest uh, air quality index readings from uh, some of our local sensors, including this one over in uh, Lawrence County, puts us in the orange category, just over 100, uh, which is technically unhealthy for sensitive groups. As expected, a little bit of mixing in the atmosphere today did draw a little bit more of that wildfire smoke down closer to the surface, uh, closer to the Earth's surface, closer to the ground. And as a result, our air quality has taken a bit of a hit this afternoon, but this is still, you know, not that bad compared to where we were a couple of times earlier this summer. We had an episode, what, a month or so ago, uh, where we were up in the purple category for a time. So, the air quality is still not much of a concern, even though certainly hazy and smoky out there for a lot of the day today. Compared to 24 hours ago, the air mass is, is a little bit more humid. Uh, the dew point is 5 degrees higher here in the 7 o'clock hour than it was Tuesday evening at this time. And with this somewhat more humid air mass in place, uh, it won't get quite as cool tonight. You know, some of the cooler spots have been around 52, 53 degrees over the last couple of mornings. I don't think we get that cool tomorrow morning. Upper 50s to about 60 should do it. But it's going to be a quiet night weather-wise. Uh, the moon, which was full uh, last night, almost full last night, it was technically full the previous morning, but close enough that it provided a, a great sight across the region last night. A lot of pictures uh, sent in to us. Thank you to everyone for sharing full moon pictures. Of course, it took on kind of a reddish orangish uh, hue because of the smoke. Um, that uh, big moon will still be up there tonight, not as, not as full, of course, as last night, but still big uh, and uh, fairly bright up there for tonight. Otherwise, quiet night with showers and thunderstorms well off to our north in Canada and some showers off to the south and to the west as well. We're expecting plenty of sunshine for our Thursday. Some mean showers and storms could impact parts of the Tennessee Valley down into the Carolinas, but all that will be a mist to the south for us. Now, cold fronts at this time of the year tend to be on the weak side, and there's very little cool air with this next front. There is a little bit of a dew point change. It'll be a little less humid in the wake of this front Friday afternoon. But it's going to have a hard time squeezing out much in the way of moisture Friday. Maybe there's a renegade shower or storm in the afternoon, but I think that's a low coverage type of a thing. A lot of us will get away dry, and I think we'll be dry over the upcoming weekend as well. We should be in fine shape Saturday and Sunday. And as always, 21 WFMJ is a proud sponsor of the Greater Youngstown Italian Fest. All the good food will be downtown Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And uh, temperatures, hey, they could be hotter at this time of the year. It's going to be pretty steamy on Sunday as the dew points start coming back up and temperatures start going back up into the middle and upper 80s. But aside from that renegade shower or storm Friday afternoon, it should be a real nice evening Friday evening, and we're looking for pretty nice weather both Saturday and Sunday as well. Showers and storms can try to return then Sunday night into Monday. Could be kind of an unsettled start to next week with Monday into early Monday night being a period which we could see some rounds of of showers and storms. After that, though, we should be uh, drying things out for a couple of days during the middle of next week. Now, the overall pattern is we go into the medium range, medium range, I should say, should look pretty familiar. If you've been paying attention to these things over the summer, it's going to be more of the same. Northwest flow continues to dominate across the northern tier of states. High pressure still anchored over the desert southwest. As long as this is the general pattern, it just, we have a hard time getting it really hot around here. Um, we're going to probably end up well below average in terms of 90 degree temperatures this summer, considering we've only had one so far. And I don't see another one seeming all that likely in the next 10 days to two weeks. 87 is probably the high water mark tomorrow and again on Sunday. So I think this pattern is going to take us through the second week of August. Now, while it won't be a particularly hot pattern, it could be kind of an unsettled pattern. This is today's 8 to 14 day precipitation outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. Uh, compared to the average dry weather favored in the southwest, where the monsoon season should be, you know, revving up and cooling them off a little bit, but compared to the average, it'll probably still be on the dry side in El Paso and Phoenix and Flagstaff and places like that. Uh, around the eastern U.S., though, wetter than average conditions favored as we go into that second week of August. Uh, does it look super wet around here? I wouldn't say super wet, no, but I think there will be some opportunities 
for some wet weather. Typically, climatologically speaking, August tends to be quite a bit drier than July in our part of the country. July this year was pretty wet. We ended up with six inches of rain at the airport and some higher amounts locally. I don't think we'll see that much rain in August, but I wouldn't be surprised if we uh, ended up somewhere near to somewhat above average in the rain department here in the last month of meteorological summer. All right, so that is it for me on Weather for Weather Geeks tonight. That's it for the week as well. I've got a couple of days off uh, Thursday and Friday, so I will see you right back here, same time, same place, on Monday.